So this is actually my second. Fuck! I cannot say this shit. Okay. You can't even see the hair color. A boxing on charm. A boxing on charm. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tuan, and today I have a Boxy Charm unboxing for ya. Okay, so this is actually my second box from Boxy Charm, and I've actually been on the wait list for three months. Three fucking months. So this is my January unboxing, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So as you guys can realize, I'm pretty much bare face right now. I have nothing on my face. Not even my eyebrows, you guys. Not even my eyebrows. It's not really an unboxing only because I kind of know what's in um, this box only because I follow Boxy Charm on Instagram. So I might not be surprised at what's in here. However, the only reason why I'm making this video is because I'm going to try all of the products in the Boxy Charm unboxing in the month of January of 2018. So without further ado, let's just get started started all right i'm just gonna hide my little thing right here so it might be a little bit difficult for me to record as of right now but when you open it it just looks like this i have this little thing that says rock 2018 because obviously this is a new year and then i have if you can see it this miniature card that says uh rock 2018 and it says ingredient list of the Dr. Brent pours no more ingredients. And let's just move this little flap right here. And the first thing I see is this Per Bronze and Brightening Compact. So let's just open it right here. And girl, this thing is hella shimmery. I don't know if you can see that, but hella shimmery. So this is Blushing Gold. This is Afterglow, Afterglow, and this is Mineral Glow. And also it says it on the back as well. Let me swatch it for ya. So here are the three swatches on the Per palette. And as you can see, it's very chunky, very chalky. However, do you see that pigmentation, girl? Holy hell, it is super, uber, uber pigmented. And I cannot wait to use this highlighter because do you see that? Oh, girl. Oh girl. The next product I see on my box is this Glam Metals palette by Crowns Pro. I'm just going to open it for you live on camera, even though I kind of know what's in this box already. And if you just open it like this, you have a mirror right there. Hello. You see nine shades so all of them are shimmers except for this one and yes i am also going to swatch it for you so i just realized i did a horrible job of putting these pigmentations on my arm but here it is as you can tell it is very pigmented all of them are shimmers like i said except for the last one i thought this would be a black color like a very matte black color but it looks like it's a little bit gray gray black and then we have all the shimmers and i can tell it is very colorful i'm not sure if you can also see this but it is also a little bit chunky for me but however i did uh do it on my arm so that could just be like my hair getting it my like my arm hair getting in the way but as of right now this one the gold one is very chalky the green one over here is also very chalky the blue one's a little bit chalky this little like gray green light green color is also very chalky however boy you could not say this is not pigmented so i cannot wait to put this on my eyes later on in the video so the next product in my box is which i'm very excited for the it cosmetics right cosmetics brow powder and it's a universal brow pencil in the color universal taupe so i'm just gonna open it for ya and i love eyebrow products only because i got no eyebrows but this is what it looks like so it has two ends one of them okay so you twist it up one of them just looks like this i don't know if you can see that right there but that's what it looks like i'm just gonna pull this down real quick to show you the other side and the other side is a brush so very very common in the eyebrow community where um it has a brush on one side and the product on the 
other. So like I said before, this is in the color Universal Taupe. And I'm just swatch it somewhere right here for ya. So this is a very brown and I don't know if it's going to fit my hair color guys because as you can tell I have pretty dark hair that kind of like ombre itself to like this greenish color. I don't even know if you can see the greenish in here. That's why I wore like this white shirt so you guys can see it better but I don't think it's coming off camera. So another product in my box is this Grand Lips Hydrating Limp Lip plumper and i don't know what they're trying to say but do i look like i got little ass lips for you huh no 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 <laughs> so i was honestly kind of sad that i didn't get the girl girl lactic lipstick because i love lipsticks and you know honestly i don't really need a lip plumper but of course for this video i'm gonna use it because i know for a fact that my lip is going to be so so huge and honestly i heard a lot of mixed reviews on this because some people say this thing this thing works and it works well for them but some people are saying this shit hurts their lips it stings them it makes them puffy it makes them red and you know, i can't handle pain that well okay i barely can handle my cramps you guys okay <laughs> No. So obviously as you can tell it just looks like this with their name logo over here and this pink color which makes me wonder if it's like a limp color. So as you can see it just looks like this. So I believe you click it or twist. Okay. Okay. So you click it. So I'm going to wait until I use this for me to actually try to get the product out. Alright so the last product I have in my boxy charm of january of 2018 is this dr jart pours no more luminizer primer so it just looks like this this is in one fluent ounces and i'm just gonna open it for you and it doesn't come with a seal which is kind of you know so i'm gonna just pour some oh and here we go it just looks like this it's kind of like a nude color but maybe there's translucent if oh there you go so it comes out, uh, obviously with no color. It feels a little bit sticky. Ooh, it has a scent to it. Um, I don't know what this smells like, okay? But it doesn't smell bad. All right, you guys, so that is everything I have in my boxy charm. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm actually, ooh, what is this? Uh-uh, honey. So now I'm going to tell you how much each product is. On the back of this card it says Dr. Uh, Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. This is $38. And as you know, if you're subscribed to BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm is only $21 a month. And I don't think they do tax, do they? So this product alone is worth more than my whole entire BoxyCharm box. What? Like I said before, that one is $38. The It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil. This is $24. The Crown Pro Glam Metals Palette is $25. The Per the Complexion Authority Bronze and Brighten Cheek Palette is worth $34. And the last product, the Grand Lip, uh, Grand Cosmetics Grand Lips Hydrating Lips lip plumper is worth $27 so each of these products are worth more than my boxycharm box wow I am shocked honestly what the fuck so like I mentioned before this video is a first impression of all the products in my boxycharm uh, box so without further ado let's just get started so like I said before I'm just only going to mainly focus on the products I got on my boxycharm all right so without further ado let's just get started so I'm just gonna use the primer I don't even know how much I need to put but I'm just, I'm just putting this much on and for me personally I just whoop doop doop buddy Ooh, and it's very cooling. So for me, I tend to just do it like this. God, I try not to do it in a circular motion because I feel like that doesn't work well for me. All right, after that, I'm just gonna do my eyebrows real quick. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I have to apply a lot of pressure just to um, 
get this product out. How I know to stop my eyebrows is I do this right on my nostril right here and then make a line. So I know that I stop right there. Okay, so this is my before eyebrows with nothing on it. No primer, no product, no gel, nothing. And this is what it looks like afterwards. But wow, do you see that pigmentation, honey? Oh, it's like a whole new me right here. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna turn off my camera to do the other eyebrows and I'll be right back. It is very hard to draw your eyebrows precisely because obviously if you keep on using it, as you can tell, the product gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. And I'm trying to create my, um, my tail very, very sharp because that's what I like it. And I realize that it just, it's really hard because the tip itself is no longer, um, sharp so that's what i'm realizing um other than that i really don't have a problem other than the fact that i just can't do it precisely and um, even the brow brush hun that shit soft as hell this is probably the softest brush i've ever uh used on my brows okay another thing that i realized about using this product is when i actually brush it through the eyebrows i feel like the color is being taken away because um, I know that when I put this on initially, it is very dark, like very dark brown, which is the color I usually go for because the one I bought from Anastasia is dark chocolate. So it is deep, deep color. Then I realized when I started brushing it, it's starting to turn light gray brown, which is not what I want. However, it is an eyebrow product. It gave me eyebrows. You know? Okay, so I usually uh, do my eye shadow first before I move on to my face just because of the fallout of right now. I have a crease color and a transition color. So this color and this color is speaking to me. I'll just go with this color. So I'm probably going to use this color over here in the palette. And I'm going to do one eye that's not wet on my brush and one eye that is wet on my brush. So this is what it looks like on the um, brush. And as you can see, it's a lot of fallout, I think. Like, it's very chunky and... Oh, I just know it's going to fall out a lot of my eyes. So I like to tilt my head back and get a mirror. And just dab it, I think. Ooh, oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh, see? Honey! Already fallouts over here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all over my face today, honey. I just realized I've been calling you guys honey a lot. Which, I mean, isn't really a bad thing, but it's better than calling you guys bitches, right? <laughs> like I've been doing in my other videos. Alright, let me just, if I can, I'm just zoom you guys in so this is what it looks like with one layer and as you can see it's pretty much all over the bottom of my eyelid all right let me do the other eye and i'll be right back so i just finished my eye makeup all i did was just put eyeliner on and tight line my eyes and as you can tell i got some major 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 fallouts over here and what happened is that the there were fallouts and then out of habit i just do this and it literally smudged my whole entire under eye same uh, with this eye so what i did was that i saw that there were fallouts i did whoosh and look at that you can see clearly see uh, the little line of where i wished it so what i'm gonna do is that i'm just going to take this makeup uh wipe by i don't even know equate i think i got this from walmart or something and honestly i like it and uh, there are no more so i'm gonna actually show you guys how much uh fallout was on this and because i'm using makeup uh wipe to take off the fallout i have to reapply my uh my pores no more primer because obviously i took the product away so this is all the product that was under my eyes and not good i hate to say it but i do not like the uh the eye eye palette because 
too much fallout so uh, this is what it looks like um without my brush being wet and this is what it looks like when my brush is wet i do like this eye better because it looks more metallic-y and more shimmery rather than this one which just looks very powdery all right so i just reapplied my pores no more primer and i'm just gonna start my foundation and i'm just gonna bring you guys back when i um go on to my bronzer uh blush and highlight uh time i guess <laughs> before i start uh actually using the per uh bronze and brightening palette i actually want to use the plumper just to see um how well it works before i apply my lipstick oh i think it is a color because it seems like if you could oh, i just hope yeah i got that one. oh there it is there it is ah! it is color color i didn't know that so is it like a lipstick a hydrating lipstick or okay let me just put it on then it is a very gooey very chemically but do you see that pigmentation though i did not know it was color um not that hard to apply actually um i haven't feel any sensation yet and usually when it comes to uh pumping products i know that it's gonna sting a little bit or at least like have some <clears throat> effect to it very sheer as you can tell it's not really bright bright pink compared to the packaging okay I'm starting to feel a little bit hot on my lips. I'm feeling it. Mostly like right here. Maybe because I put that first, so now it's starting to um, heat up a little bit. But right here is where I'm feeling. All right, so let's get into the Per Compact. And like I said before, it is really shimmery. So I don't know how I feel about that. All right, so for bronzer, I'm just going to use this Morphe 5 30 brush and look so i'm just gonna dip it like this or swirl it maybe oh again fall out i don't know if you saw that but i'm gonna tap it out and mm, i do see it wow that is pretty actually that is very pretty do you see the difference wow wow i like it I like it. And honestly, it's not even shimmery on the face, actually. So that's pretty nice. All right, let's do this side first so you can just um, see the difference on the side of my face. And I smile a little bit. Update on the plumper. It is getting really hot on all of my... Like, when I breathe, I can feel the hotness. But it does not sting so far. All right, so for the blush, it's right here. And if you can see the difference, do leave a comment down below because I personally don't see a difference. I know this one is a little bit more pink, but it doesn't make a difference to my face. Again, just like the blush and the bronzer, I'm going to tap it. Okay, so I just want to stop right now. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is very streaky. It could be my brush, though. I don't know <laughs> if you can see it, but I cannot blend this out. <sighs> I just cannot blend it out now. But wow. Do you see that? Do you see this highlight, though? So this is what my face looks like right now with the product palette over here. And then this is what my face looked like without the palette um, on this side. So yes, no. And honestly, it looks really nice. Okay, guys, so this is what it looks like. And as you can see, it's not really that streaky when I did it over here. Maybe it's just how I applied it. Or maybe I put too much Fix Plus over here that it just kind of stuck or something. Is that everything? Oh my god, that's everything. Okay, guys, this is how my makeup turned out when I used all five of the um makeup products in in my boxy charm for january so i'm just gonna tell you guys which products i will use again and which products i probably would not so the first thing that i use on my face was the dr brent pores no more and i really like it like i do not see any of my any of my pores peeking out would i use the it cosmetics brow power 
I don't know. I love the brush. The brush is actually really fantastic. The color is okay. I realize if I don't brush my eyebrows, the color will be more darker. Um, I would love it if you guys just give me a little comment down below to see. Like, I'm not crazy, right? I feel like the color, like, left a little bit when I brushed it. So tell me what you guys think because I feel like I am not crazy right now. So would I use this again? Probably not, just because I want preciseness. That's the only reason why I used the Anastasia Dip Brow in the first place. And the color. What's the point in buying a dark color if it's just going to turn a light gray? What? Honey? Uh, boy, bye. The fuck? Uh-uh. 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 <laughs> no. Uh, no. No. <laughs> Fuck that shit, no. So this one is a little bit dirty because my hands are all dirty because of this or whatever. But I surprisingly really like this. So it kind of scared me a little bit because it was so shimmery. However, it does not look that crazy on my face. I like it. Would I use this again? Definitely, 100%. Lastly, but not the least, is this Grand Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. Would I use it again? Absolutely. The color is great. The only thing that kind of hurt me a little bit was that it uh, made my lips heated. It didn't sting. The product itself isn't really that sticky. Is it hydrating? I don't know. But it looks damn ass nice. Did my lips in fact plump up? I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like it looks the same. But obviously, I would like it a lot if you comment down below just to tell me what, um, obviously, it looks like to you. Because I, I do care about your opinions a little bit. Alright, guys. I know I did babble a lot in this video. I really hope that you guys like this contact enough to subscribe and leave a comment down below. I will love you forever. <laughs> I hope you guys have a, a lovely day. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye!